the Surya Siddhant, which goes back into the Hori of time, estimated to be somewhere around fifteen to twenty-five thousand years ago. He is talking about the speed of light as two thousand two hundred and two yojanas in half a nimisha. One yojana, according to the modern units of measurement, would be nearly nine miles. One nimisha means sixteen by seventy-fifth of a second. If you multiply this, you get this is the speed of light. He is talking about the speed of light or fifteen thousand years ago. And today, we have arrived at the same numbers with great difficulty with all kinds of instrument. This is by simple observation of how the human system and the solar system functions together. The distances between the sun and the planet, the distances between the moon and the planet, and the way we rotate and the impact it has, all these things have been looked at with great care. Right now the diameter of the sun into 108 equals the distance between the sun and earth. This is today's measurement, it goes exactly like that. The diameter of the moon into 108 equals the distance to the earth. You know why we put 108 beads in you, you must have lost quite a few of them by now. Out of sync. Like this I can go on with all kinds of fabulous fib figures. The most important thing is how the making of the time and the making of the human body are so deeply connected. If you… you know the planet is round and it has a slightly tilted orbit. If you take this orbit and as it travels, as it spins, here it forms a circle. To form this circle, today we know it takes twenty-five thousand nine hundred and twenty years. This is the time taken. This tilt mainly happens because of the gravitational pull of the moon over the earth and for it to exert that pressure continuously to get this uh, axis to form a circle, it takes this many years. And that many years is called as the one cycle of yugas. Twenty-five thousand nine twenty by sixty, because sixty is the number of minutes, sixty is also the number of heartbeats you should have if you are healthy, will turn out to four thirty-two. Four thirty-two is a number that comes up in various uh, cultures, the Norse culture, the ancient Jewish culture, the Egyptian culture, the Mesopotamian culture and very much here is 432. Why this 432 is your heart beats 60 times a minute. If you're in a state of excitement, it may be doing more. If you are in a good health and in good condition, it beats 60 times. So sixty times into sixty, it's three thousand six hundred into twenty-four would be eighty-six thousand four hundred. This is what it would be. If you divide this by two, if you leave this out, it's again four thirty-two. If you take the number of breaths that you're taking per minute, can you check and tell me how many breaths you're taking per minute? If you're not in a state of heavy excitement, you're doing fifteen. If you are in a state of sadhana, you've done lots of sadhana, then you could be twelve, otherwise you will be fifteen. So, fifteen breaths per minute means into sixty per hour, that is nine hundred, 
24, that is 21,600. There is something called as a nautical mile, which is a real mile. That means, when I say the real mile, it has something to do with the planet and the way it is. The other units of measurement that we have created has something to do with the ease with which we can calculate. So one nautical mile literally means, you know there are 360 degrees in a circle, all of you know this. So upon the planet, there are 360 degrees. If this is the planet, if this is the equator, there are 360 going up like this. Let's say if you take this one as one degree, in this there are sixty minutes, it's referred to as minutes. There are sixty minutes. These sixty minutes, that one minute accounts for one nautical mile. So that means the circumference of the earth at the equator is twenty-one thousand six hundred. That's how many breaths you take per day. The planet is not spending on time. No good at all for us. If you are not in tune with it, still no good for you.